SwiftUI has two ways of making alerts and sheets, and so far we've only been using one, a binding to a Boolean that shows the alert or sheet when the Boolean becomes true. The second option isn't used quite so often, but it's really useful for the few times you need it. You can use an optional identifiable object as your condition, and the alert or sheet will be shown when that object has a value. The closure for this variety hands you the non-optional value that was used for the condition, so you can use it safely. To demonstrate this, we could create a trivial user struct that conforms to the identifiable protocol. Struct user conforms to identifiable var id equals Taylor Swift. We could then create a property inside content view that tracks which user selected, set to nil by default. At state private var selected user optional user equals nil. Now we can change the body of content view so it sets selected user to a value when its text view is tapped then uses alert item to show an alert when selected user is given a value. On tap gesture, self dot selected user equals a user. Dot alert item dollar selected user user in alert title text of user ID. With that simple code, whenever you tap hello world, an alert saying Taylor Swift appears. As soon as the alert is dismissed, SwiftUI sets selected user back to nil. This might seem like a simple piece of functionality, but it's simpler and safer than the alternative. If we were to rewrite the above code using the old alert is presented modifier, it would look like this. At state, private var is showing alert equals false. Self dot is showing alert equals true. And then the alert modifier would say is presented dollar is showing alert. And now to show the actual alert itself, we must force unwrap selected user dot ID. That's another property, another value to set in the on tap gesture and a force unwrap in the alert modifier. If you can avoid those things, you should.